Okay, just putting this out there. I have an absolute mammoth of a tension headache right now and when I get tension headaches it causes a lot of pain behind my eyes and I find that when that happens putting my glasses on really helps but I know when I wear my glasses when I film the light is going to reflect off the lenses like this sometimes and it's going to be really distracting but today guys I don't have a choice. If I could film this video any other day then I would but tomorrow I'm beasting uni work and then the next day I'm climbing Ben Nevis and then the next day I'm gonna be sleeping all freaking day because I climb Ben Nevis and then the following week it's all like just uni work constantly so yeah I don't have a choice so just bear with me if you find it annoying then I'm I'm sorry if you find it distracting then I'm sorry but I am making the best out of a crappy situation. I have ordered the lighting so it's a little bit less likely to happen but as you can see when I raise my head there's not really much I can do about that without taking the lights away and then everything would just be darkness. Okay. Now I can start the video. <laughs> What's up guys? So today I thought I would do a video on something that I love a lot and that is my lipsticks. I've had quite the collection of lip products for a while now and I've cleaned it out to the point where I'm either 100% happy with the stuff that I've kept or I'm still in that deciding phase but I love everything that I have and I just thought I would share it. So without further ado, here is my current lip collection. It could change as quickly as tomorrow. So my current lip collection. I keep all my lip products in this snazzy bee box here. Um, I think I'm gonna go through by product type and then just try and group brands and such as I go. This could be a complete disaster. We're just gonna have to wait and see. I'll just give a quick nod to my lip care product things that I have in here just now. These are my Lush Lip Scrubs. I have these in popcorn, bubblegum, and Sugar Plum Fairy. I did have the mint one, but I gave that to my sister because that's the kind soul that I am. These are exactly what they sound like. They are a scrub for your lips and they're just to kind of keep the skin on your lips nice and smooth so your lipsticks, etc., can go on nice and smooth as well. And they taste great. Also, not that you should be eating them. I don't think that's what they're made for. I wouldn't advise eating them. But they taste great and they leave a nice taste on your lips, which is uh, interesting. Moving on to glossies, the first few I have are from Makeup Revolution. I have five in total. Two of these are nice kind of pink slash coral tones because we all know how I feel about a good coral. Um, these were both actually in my first ever makeup haul, Makeup Revolution haul actually, which I will link below if you haven't seen it. You can go check that out too. This one's actually called Coral. It's more of a transparent shimmery gloss whereas the other one is a lot thicker. It's more of a block colour. It gives off more of this kind of baby pink Barbie vibe which I'm not 100% sure of to be honest but I kept it because... because corals. And this one is called Hey Girl Hi. I think I made that joke before. Definitely made that joke before. These are more something that I would wear if I wasn't actually wearing makeup. I maybe just had mascara on and I just wanted a wee something on my lippies. My other Makeup Revolution glosses I actually only got at Christmas. They were in my 12 days of Christmas countdown calendar thing. And I'm not 100% sure how I feel about them just yet. I don't wear glosses very often, so I haven't actually had the chance to see what I think of them but I've kept them until I can figure that out. As you can see, they're all in the nude kind of spectrum, which we all love a bit of. The next brand I have a few of is Tanya Burr. I have six full-size ones in a nice wee colour spectrum here, and I also have three mini ones as well. They were from the Advent Calendar in 2015, I believe, 2015. Yeah, because I didn't have it last year, 2015. Overall though, I just, I, I love these. These are all the original formula. I think they were revamped not too long ago, but I don't have any of the re-releases, I guess. But I still think they're great. If I was to decide to wear a gloss, I'd probably feel more inclined to go for one of these, just purely because I like the formulation of them in general. Quite a few of the colors I have match up with a few of my matte lipsticks, so if I ever decide to give them a wee shine or put something on top of them, then I know where to go. Starting off with the three minis, the colors that I have are Macaroon, which is a kind of light pale pink, and it has a bit of shimmer through it. The next one is called Bewitching. It's more of a plum toned pink again with a little bit of shimmer and then the last one's called candy frost this is as bright as pink can get with loads of glitter i can't actually recall if i've worn this yet but it's 
they're gorgeous, I can't throw it out. Starting off with the full size tubes, I have Mistletoe Kisses, which is this gorgeous shimmery red. This is probably my go-to gloss for Christmas. I love it, I will never part with it. And then I also have Let's Travel the World, which is kind of red toned as well, but I like this more for the kind of corally undertone and it doesn't really have a shimmer through it but it is still gorgeous. Moving on to a bit of plum, we have Enchanted Forest. This is probably a gloss that I'd put over a plum lipstick if I wanted it to be a bit more shiny. There's a slight sheen in there, but not too much, so it can still look really edgy if you want that kind of thing. We have Chocolate Fondue, which is a kind of plummy toned nude. It's kind of darker, got some brown tones in it. Very pretty. Staying with a pink tone, we have Chic. This is one of my go-tos just for a kind of every day not really wearing makeup just having mascara on look it's so natural and i love it so so much and then finally daydream daydream is like the nude of nudes if i was ever gonna put anything over a nude lipstick this would be my go-to it looks like it's got a block color to it but it's really transparent and subtle and the shimmer in it is absolutely stunning and last but by no means least for glossies i have my bare minerals marvelous moxie gloss and the color daredevil this is heaven. This is a gorgeous shimmery plum that I do quite like to put over a dark lipstick as well as my Tanya Burr gloss and this also has a little bit of a minty tingle to it which I actually kind of like. Liquid lipsticks and lip creams slash buttery thingies. I have another Bare Minerals product. This is a pretty amazing gloss. It's technically a gloss but the consistency is so thick that I refer to it as a lip cream and this is in the colour Savvy, which is this nice nude colour, very neutral, very nice. That one's quite similar to my Makeup Revolution Ultra Velour Lip Cream, which is again a nice smooth nude colour, and this one is called Move Your Mouth Forever. Still think that is one hella suggestive name for a lip product. Either that or I'm hella dirty minded. Either is fine, I shall live. Anyway, my next few are the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipsticks and these are my favourite liquid lipsticks right now. I love everything about them. I'd really like to try more colours because obviously I only have three right now and those colours are 35 Rebel Red, which was a favourite during Christmas time TBH, 05 Nude Flush, which is a nice pinky tone that I've been more into as we're coming out of winter, and of course number 50 Nude Thrill, which is again another nude. I promise not all this video is going to be nude after nude after nude. <laughs> Although, if I was the clickbaity kind of girl, that would be a cracking title. Releasing my nudes. And no one would watch because bleh! That aside though, I would really recommend these. The formula is great, they aren't drying and they last pretty well. And my last one is a Rimmel Matte Apocalypse Lip Velvet Lipstick in the colour Orangeology. So as you can imagine, it's a very vibrant orange. Orange? Orange, wow! A strong favourite of mine in the summer months, although this has just sat in this box for a long time. I think I kept this as an incentive to wear the colour when I can because I know how much I love it and I know how much I love it on. So I'm hoping when I look in the box now that I've cleared it out and I can actually see this, it will trigger something to be like, oh! Wear orange, dude! Crayons! A small collection because I only have two. Although I wouldn't wear these on their own, I tend to just use these as a kind of under layer kind of. If I'm wearing a matte lipstick that I know is quite drying, I'll put this on as an extra layer just to avoid that cracked look. And they work really well, so I don't see me getting rid of these anytime soon. The blush crayon works really good under pinks, obviously, and if you put it on really light, it can work well under a nude. And any dark lipstick, stick this on under it and you're just like, wow. The okay, we're into the thick of it now. Lipsticks. Now that I'm looking at them, I think I'm going to group them into brands rather than colours. I think that'll be easier. Starting with the brand that I have the biggest collection of, Rimmel, because I love me some Rimmel lipsticks. I love their formula, I love their colour pigmentation, and I always find, this may be by chance, but whenever I've had a colour in mind, like just purely off the top of my head, that I think, oh that would match that, they have a colour that best matches what I visualised. Again, probably completely by chance and completely irrelevant, but still. The first is one of their Moisture Renew lipsticks in the colour Mayfair Red Lady. This is a really glossy lipstick. It gives the shine of a gloss 
without any of that sticky factor rubbish. And the second is a Last and Finish Cake Moss lipstick in 51 Muse Red, which has a brighter colour and not as much of a shine. It's more sheer, I guess. But both of these are absolutely gorgeous. Christmas go-tos, full shout. Moving along the colour spectrum, I have my pinks. I have another Kate Moss lipstick in 110, strong colour, love it. And another one in a much darker nudie pink, I guess, in the colour 08. And I have another one that's pretty similar to that, although kind of a matte version, and this is one of Rimmel's The Only One lipsticks. And this one's in the colour 210 Mauve Mint. Kind of like movement, but mauve mint. This is slightly more pink toned, and as you can guess by the name, it's more mauve-like. And again, like I mentioned, from my experience with it, this is more of a matte lipstick. I'm not 100% sure if it's supposed to be a matte lipstick, but from my experience, it is a matte. And where there is pinks, there will also be plums. This is my beloved Last and Finish lipstick in 128 Starry Eyed. This is a beautiful plum colour with great staying power. And one thing that I'm always really cautious about with dark lipsticks is that they might bleed out. But thankfully this one doesn't, that would be a massive turn off for me if it did, so very happy that it doesn't. This colour is actually a well-renowned dupe for MAC Sin lipstick, I believe. I've never actually bought the MAC version because I've been for a nosy while I've been shopping for other things and in my opinion there's no point in me owning both if they're so similar and I really like the formula of this one, so win-win. More makeup revolution, not loads. Just a wee trio. The first one I have, of course, is a coral because Makeup Revolution get corals so right. It's amazing and this one is called Let's Raise the Bar. The next two are from the same rose gold lipstick collection and I am still in love, dropping one, I am still in love with the packaging of these. Look at that, look, look at it. The first one is another nude, a bit lighter than most of my others. This is called Chauffeur and this one was actually in my February favourites, I believe. So as you may guess, I love this one a lot. And the second is another deep plum called Private Members Club. I love how this lipstick, you can really see the purple colour when you have it on. It doesn't look like just a dark lip. You can tell a mile off, it is a plum. For what you pay, I really like the Makeup Revolution lipsticks. It's a brand that's so affordable, but the quality is so great. And if I was ever in a position where I wanted to try a new colour, but didn't want to go spending a lot of money on an expensive lipstick, they would probably be where I went to. The next few are more just odds and ends from different brands, so I think I'm just going to quickly fire through those and quickly show you what they look like in a swatch shot. And then I'll have my more designery brandy ones at the end. A bit more Bare Minerals. I have one of their Pop of Passion lipsticks, although this feels more like a lip balm to be honest. And again, it's a coral. More orangey tone though, which makes sense because it's called Tangerine Pop. A Solo Sleek Lippy. This is a matte orange colour and this one's called Flaunt It. A bit of Bourgeois, another nice corally colour. And this is number 09? Is it 09? Yeah, because it's not number 60, it's 09. My one and only MAC lipstick. Of course it's one of their matte lipsticks and it's in the colour Velvet Teddy. Yes, it's a nude. Yes, I love it. Maybelline, another dark brownie, pinky nude colour kinda and that's 625 Iced Caramel. I love the formula of Maybelline lipsticks, they're so soft. I'm getting so enthusiastic and so into lipsticks. Or I'm just losing it. Whatever definition you prefer. We have a wee bit of fuchsia colour from Barbara Daily Makeup. And you know, this is one of the ones that I genuinely don't remember buying. Must watch that. My new CID lipstick in Coral Kiss that is so beyond beautiful. The packaging comes with a mirror and a light. The colour is amazing. The formula is amazing. And it is now discontinued. Ah! I did actually tweet them about this quite a while ago and it turns out they reformulated their lipsticks and they said that there is a colour that they brought out that kind of matches this. So I will need to have a look, but I don't want some that kind of matches it. I want it. I'm literally scraping the barrel of this because when you put it up, nothing comes out. I go into it with a lip brush. Tom Ford, I think I've mentioned their lipsticks a few times before and I will mention them again. They are amazing, but I only have two, not as many as I would like in an ideal world, but they cost 38 pounds each and I am not a maniac that likes to go spending their balance on lipsticks. Although I say that and I've just whipped out this massive collection. Um, oops. <laughs> 
Anyway, I only have two, not as many as I would like, but the colours that I do have are Misbehaved, which is a slightly muted pink, and Naked Coral, which is exactly what it says on the tin, a coral! <laughs> Naked Coral is probably the closest second to my new CID lipstick, so if I can't find another new CID colour that I like, I will just have to keep buying Tom Ford lipsticks. Oh, what a shame. And last, but by no means least, I have my Charlotte Tilbury Glastonbury lipstick. This is the most amazing dark plum colour ever. This is a matte lipstick, so just make sure you do have moisturised lips. Maybe you've used a wee lip scrub, maybe you've kept some Vaseline in your lips throughout the day, or whatever. As long as I do that, this looks cracking, and I am loving my life. Okay, so the box is empty. That is my lipstick collection, but before I go, I want to quickly talk about my lip liners. I don't want to go into too much detail with these or go through each one individually, because I'm sure when I finish editing this video, it's going to be absolutely long enough but I will put these all in the description along with every other lip product that I have mentioned and it just means that you can see what they are. Just briefly about these though, I have Charlotte Tilbury, I have Sleek, I have Rimmel, Maybelline, L'Oreal in a variety of colours and I don't always wear a lip liner but whenever I feel like I do want to wear one, one of these will match the lipstick that I'm going to wear. So all the lipstick in my collection I have a matching lip liner, so they're quite a team. And finally we are done and guess what, my head doesn't hurt that much anymore. I knew keeping my glasses on was the right idea and it turns out the reflection thing isn't that bad. Anyway, I know this probably wasn't the format that a lot of other people do their collection videos in, but I wanted to be a format that I was comfortable with and I felt comfortable filming. Either way, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big one of these, leave one of those, click subscribe, much love you guys, and I shall see you all next week, hopefully without a headache. Bye!